Both relief and concern tonight after the FBI arrested a truck driver who threatened to shoot up a Memphis church. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. My co-anchor Katina Rankin has the night off. The FBI says 38-year-old Thomas McVicker made credible threats to a friend of committing a mass shooting and suicide at a Memphis church the day after tomorrow, but never mentioned the name of a specific place of worship. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live outside the Memphis FBI field office tonight with the very latest on all of this. Brad, very concerning. What have you learned? Well, Memphis police, as you just mentioned, said that McVicker didn't target a specific church, but federal authorities felt those warnings were legitimate enough to take him into custody last week. Today, after news of that threat emerged, some Memphis churches took their own precautions. And especially I uh, want to give a thanks to those uh, diligent officers. Pastor Keith Norman of Memphis's First Broad Baptist Church is especially grateful tonight after the FBI thwarted a potential mass shooting at a Memphis church this Thursday. We see these trends taking place. We recognize that it is not safe to go to Walmart or to worship. According to a federal probable cause affidavit, 38 year old truck driver Thomas McVicker told a friend on the phone last Wednesday he would shoot up a church in Memphis later this week. That friend alerted an FBI officer, and authorities arrested McVicker in Indiana last Friday. She was able to pass information along to law enforcement. It was able to be investigated, and a possible national tragedy. You know, was avoided. Federal court records said a leave request from McVicker's job confirmed he planned to spend time in Memphis this Thursday. McVicker's mother also told investigators her son had a handgun and was being treated for schizophrenia. We're thankful to the person who did uh, speak up in this situation because obviously a tragedy could have taken place. Now, Thomas McVicker's arrest followed similar arrests last week of men in Connecticut, Florida, and Ohio who either posted online or sent text messages with threats of carrying out mass shootings. Again, this Memphis threat did not name or target a specific Memphis church. Reporting live in East Memphis, Brad Broders, Local 24 News. All right, thank you, Brad. We first broke this story on our local Memphis app. You can download it from the Apple Store or Google Play and receive all breaking news updates.